What's going on YouTube? It's Tyler and today I'm going to review the Mygica ATSC TV tuner for Android devices. This one's a little different than the one I reviewed in the past that had a micro USB input. This one uses USB-C, which many new Android devices use. So a few weeks ago, my Samsung Galaxy S5 broke after three years. So I purchased the LG G5, which has the USB-C input. So the other ATSC device that I'd used in the past, which you can see in my other videos, that you uses micro USB no longer works for this device because it won't fit it. So the manual told me to download Pad TV, and I first downloaded two apps that were the wrong one. And so when I tried installing the right one, it said it was a duplicate, and I had to remove the other ones in order to install the right Pad TV. It's this one with the little HD icon in the corner. So once I installed the app and plugged in the tuner, my phone asked me if I wanted to use Pad TV for the default app with this attachment. Just click yes, and if it asks anything else, just hit yes, don't really worry about that. Then it will ask what country you're in. Most of you are probably in the United States, so select that and hit scan. Unfortunately, this doesn't show the channel number it's scanning, it shows the frequency it's on. So it's just going through the physical kilohertz, or technically megahertz, and going down the line. To my surprise, it already picked up 10 of the local channels, which are on one single RF frequency. It's picking up using this really tiny antenna, so this tuner already, I can tell, is very sensitive. Once it's done scanning, you just hit back to go to the channel that's on. For some reason, the channels aren't really in a particular order. Like, this is channel 60 here, and then this is 39, and then it goes to 69, and then back to 16 and then goes to 44. I think it has to do with the single frequency it's on because these channels, the first 10 channels, share a single channel. So it's probably based on where they're at on the spectrum. So I gotta say, I'm really, really surprised that it's picking up all these channels just kind of sitting on the ground like this. Even with that really small antenna, and that's my friend just Snapchat me, I guess that's kind of cool. Um, but anyway, I'm really surprised how well it's working right now. And I had tested this out, kind of moving around, and it still kept a solid signal, even better than the other portable tuner I reviewed the other day. Now, one of the things I noticed is that the program guide is wrong. It's not Newswatch 16 at 7 right now. Um, that was an hour ago, and it might just have to do with the time zone setting or something. But this also has a recorder on it. So I'm going to press record and record this, and then I'm going to upload it into my editing software so you can see how it looks. I'm also going to let it continuously run for five minutes just to make sure there's no errors on recording it. <laughs> Lawrence? Hey, uh, I'm looking for Eddie. Is he happen to be up there? Say I'm not here. He'll be right down. What did you do that for? Oh, I'm sorry. Maybe if I practiced for tonight, I might have handled it better. Now, just as a heads up, if you think it looks a little dark, it's just the program that's shown right now. Um, I don't know why they have it so dark, but if I go to the religious channel, for example, God tends to have a lot of light. So you can see it's actually very bright and very clear. Another thing I notice is if you hop around the channels a lot, maybe you just kind of try to overload it. It might force close itself every so often, but overall it's more stable than the other tuner that I had. I mean, it's not kind of showing a no signal sign on the channels that I would get when playing around with it too long. I would have to force close the app and unplug the tuner. This isn't doing that. Now, one of the things that I discovered that was really crazy is that the main signals aren't coming in on my external antenna, mainly because it's very directional and I don't have it pointed in the right direction. I got an MCX to coax adapter so I can plug it directly into the tuner. And I'm curious to see if it's able to pick up the stations my TV won't pick up. Sure enough, it does. And this really surprises me because I don't understand how channel can't come in on one TV tuner, but then on another tuner, it comes in perfect. It also picked up WBRE at a Scranton Wilkesbury, which doesn't currently come in at my current antenna position on my TV set, but this managed to pick it up. So in the end, this device works very well, especially for only $40. So if you have an Android phone that has USB-C, I highly recommend buying it if you want to turn your phone to a TV tuner, record shows on the go, and watch shows wherever you go. 
Now, if you aren't sure if this will work with your specific Android phone, feel free to let me know in the comments what model you have, and I'll look up to see if it has USB to go, which is basically what powers the device and allows you to watch the TV through the USB.